Okay, today we're going to talk about a couple different techniques to use uh, to get over a log that has a slight drop on the backside. Some of these techniques could also be used for a downhill log. Uh, it's just going to depend on how big the log is and how steep the downhill is. Uh, so we're going to show four different ways real quick on how to get over a log like the one pictured. Okay, so this first technique is going to be all about rocking over on the bash blade. Let's take a look at how that works. Okay, so first up, I'm going to get the bike up on the bash plate. All right. From here, I'm going to inch the bike forward until I hit the balance point. Once I hit the balance point, I'm going to rock forward and hook on the rear tire. Okay, from here, I'm going to get my body back into a good position to get forward and upward momentum. Alright, I'm going to come forward and up and roll over the log. So let's take a look at this in greater detail because there's actually a lot going on here. First things first, I'm going to get my body weight back. I want to be able to get some good momentum coming forward. All right, from here, I'm going to come forward. As I start to come forward, I'm going to come up and I'm going to lock my arms. I want all that energy to transfer into the front forks. I want to try to almost like we're doing a nose wheelie. Okay, notice here how compressed the front forks are. When the uh, forks compress, the front end goes down, the rear end comes up, and allows the bike to roll over nice and easy. From there, the other big takeaway is I'm really being gentle in the clutch. I'm doing 90% body here and like 10% power of the bike to help me get up and over. This varies a little bit, but if your tire is spinning on the log, you're not getting much traction and uh, that can actually be counterintuitive. So I use just enough uh, clutch and throttle so the tire rotate and help me up, but uh, not so much that it spins and actually wants to slide back down the log. Okay, so this next technique, I'm just going to do kind of a double blip over the log. I'm going to hold pressure with the front and then hook the rear tire and rock right over. Here we go in slow motion. So approach it, touch the front tire, add a second blip of throttle, hold the wheelie just so the bash plate clears, hook the rear tire, rock forward, and then up and over just like coming off the skid plate. I actually used this technique the other day on a log just a little bigger than this. Uh, that was uh, on a, a raised up a little higher on a downhill worked beautifully for me. This technique could also be done starting on the bash plate and then doing the same thing. Okay, so this next one's going to be holding pressure and kind of treating this log more as a drop off. Uh, you could do this going downhill, though if I was going downhill and I decided to sky myself off the log, I would try to land with both tires flat. This could be useful in a situation like this if there's another log right after this log and I didn't want my front tire to come down and slam into it and send me over the bars. Okay, so we're going to start the technique just like before. We're going to get the front tire up on the log. From here, I'm going to release the clutch again, give it a second burst of power. I'm going to straighten my legs, pull up into a wheelie. When the rear tire touches the log, I'm going to soften my knees to absorb the impact. I want the rear tire to get on top of the log. If I keep my legs straight, there's a chance the rear tire will hit. It'll compress the suspension and rebound up and then drop the front tire forward. Anyway, as I'm, once I'm on top of the log, I'm going to re-put pressure into my knees. So you won't see me stand up, but I'll be putting pressure into my knees and pulling back on the bike. Holding the front end up and then dropping off the rear side. Okay, so last technique's gonna be a zap. I had the great fortune of attending a Ryan Young training class the other weekend. This is one of the techniques he showed on a downhill log. I uh, once said it's a technique they prefer to do depending on how big the log is and how steep the downhill is. One thing to note, you will carry a little bit more speed on the downhill side of the log if you use this technique, so you know, use it when it's appropriate. Uh, I would have liked to have gotten a little bit more uh, arching shape in the motion of this demonstration, a little bit more rear tire height, but uh, during the class last weekend, I had a bail off on a sandy hill and uh, it was all nice soft sand except for the one place my ribs landed which was right on a stump they popped right before i started doing this demonstration so i'm babying it just a little bit okay so we're going to start by putting our front tire on the log i should have come to a more complete stop here that's my bad anyway we're going to set our front tire on the log the suspension is going to compress when the suspension compresses we're going to pop the clutch and jump forward kind of through the bars it's going to cause the rear tire to jump to the log front end is going to go down you're going to go roll right off Okay, so ideally, I would have come to a more complete stop on the log that would have loaded the suspension a little better, give me a little bit more lift. Also, if I would have thrown my body a little bit further forward, that would have helped more of the arching motion I wanted in the bike. With my rib injury, I was babying it, taking it a little easier, but hopefully this gives you an idea of the concept, something you guys can work on. Uh, as always, start small, work your way up, be careful, and have fun.